Hey, welcome to Aaron's Heart. My name is Darby and I'll be your bartender. Today, our special is the White Lady. All right, so the white lady, um, what to say about this one? So it's a little unusual, okay? Not unusual in a bad way, but unusual in a kind of a break from our norm here. Uh, not really, I guess though. So the white lady is, let's see how to, well, actually the best way to kind of describe it is the gin version of whiskey sour, right? But it's a whiskey sour, one of these little guys right so my opinion is the whiskey sour should always be made with egg because it makes it frothy and gives it that like foam on top this is the same way so basically there's not a whole lot to say about this cocktail other than you're going to need a shaker there's no two ways about it and preferably one of these right you don't want to use like the cobbler style shaker that has the little like the cap on top, I had one here and I, I think I've actually thrown it out because I hated it so much. Um, but the reason for that is because if you're poor at the end of this. So use one of these. Now, let's talk about egg, right? So eggs, as we all know, are not gonna be cooked in a cocktail. But the acid that we're going to add right from our citrus has citric acid in it will make this safer for consumption okay i'm not going to say that it won't 100 won't make you sick but it won't it, it lowers the likelihood that you'll get sick if you're really really opposed to using egg in something like the white lady or whiskey sour then you know what leave it out you can leave it out it just changes your consistency of the cocktail and in my opinion it changes the flavor not in a way that will be a huge detriment, but in a way that is noticeable. So that's up to you, but I do recommend trying this. I make whiskey sours quite often and I love them. So let's get into making this thing. So let's talk about our ingredients. All right, we're gonna need a few things. Most of the things by now, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you should already have. You're going to need simple syrup, okay? This is just, uh, I'm gonna be doing an episode here shortly on how I make a lot of the syrups that I use. This Demerara, um, cause I do a two to one Demerara. Um, rosemary syrup that I use. I have an episode coming up shortly that uses rosemary syrup and it's kind of like the focal point. Um, lavender syrup, chai syrup. So I've got several and I wanna put all those together in one video so you can kind of see how it's done and how I do it anyway. You're gonna need high quality lemon juice. You're gonna need a triple sec. So I normally would use just regular triple sec, but this is kind of a little elevated and I wanted to go with something a little bit nicer. So I do have this bottle of Contro that I used for margaritas. And I really, really like Contro. So if you've got that cool, if you've got regular triple sec, something like this, Totally fine. This will work just fine. Um, Contra is a little expensive for what it is, but it tastes phenomenal. And in something like this that does, in my opinion, kind of have an elevated feel to it, I'd like to go for something that's a little bit more subtle. So, and then last but not least, we're gonna be using this beautiful bottle of Navigator London Dry Gin. Do you need to use a London Dry in this? No. Should you use a London Dry? Yes, part of the reason why I'm not using something slightly more exotic is simply because I want it to kind of stand on its own. 
Um, your London dries typically are going to be a little bit more um, kind of in your face flavor wise where something I do have some more like slightly more exotic ones I've got this uh, Wheatley and Neal handcrafted rhubarb and ginger gin which is phenomenal um, and this would actually probably work really really well in something like this I've got some tanker ray that would be really nice in here Hendrix of course is technically a London dry but it's just not I don't know there's something about using a classic style London dry normally I would use beef eater but I got this bottle from my wife she gave me this bottle of this Navigator Perfect Perfected with 17 Global Botanicals and I really really love this bottle and it really does taste phenomenal so we're going to use that today now one other thing before we start putting this together is your egg we are going to need to dry shake first and then add ice and reshake so I do recommend having a towel a rag a dishcloth something like that and you'll see why here in just a minute mostly it's just to keep you clean so let's go ahead and start making this all right super super simple our first three ingredients here which is going to be our gin one ounce of gin one ounce of your triple sec one ounce of your high quality lemon juice all right super simple so far a quarter to a half ounce depending on how sweet you like it of your simple syrup I don't care for super sweet cocktails so I'm gonna do a fat quarter of an ounce which is slightly over a quarter of an ounce and now for an egg white you can do something like this using a fine mesh strainer if you are not comfortable trying to separate your egg white, just do something like this, right? Just set your strainer over top. Let's see if I can get this to balance. I normally just do this with, you know, just separating the normal way, but this is good for demonstration purposes. All right, so you've got your, your egg, and your yolk in there. Just kind of give it a sift around like you were sifting flour through it, right? It'll take a little while, and you have to kind of be a little rough with it, but once you get your egg white all the way through, you will notice that it does come all the way through. It's just kind of a pain. It's a slow process. You could speed this up by doing how I normally do it, which is just tip your, your egg back and forth, kind of just separate it quickly, and be done with the thing, which is what I'm gonna do here because I don't wanna wait. Boom, done, just like that. Make sure anything that your raw eggs touch, you wash right away, okay? Keep that stuff clean, keep it safe. Don't be dumb, basically. All right, no ice in our big tin. We're gonna close these up, give it a good smack, kind of twist it in there, get it sealed. Now, here's a trick to keep yourself clean because the way that these shakers work is the ice, when you've got ice in here, it contracts, right? It gets cold and the metal contracts around and creates a seal. We don't have any ice in here yet. So if you wanna keep from getting yourself splashed, I mean, if you wanna splash liquor and egg on yourself, knock yourself out, just wrap a towel around it, right? Super simple, who'd have thought? Now, let's give this a good shake. You wanna shake this hard for 20 to 30 seconds, all right? Just hard shake, keep shaking. If you have to readjust your hands because your towel is slipping out, that's fine. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ice cube. We're gonna get ready to crack this bad boy into here. Basically, what we're doing here is we're creating that foam, right? See how easy that pops apart? They never pop apart that easy. Now. crack our ice into here. If you've got regular ice, that works just fine. I just happen to have a bunch of these big cubes laying around, so I'm just using those up. All right, sealed up again. If you wanna wrap your towel back around it, you totally can, because this usually will build up a little bit in there. 
But then we're going to give it another chill and dilute. Now, I have a coupe in the freezer. No ice goes into this, okay? A whiskey sour, you could totally put ice in if you're into that kind of thing, and that's totally fine. This, please don't put ice in it. Pour quickly because you want it to keep that nice, beautiful, foamy head on it. Let's get... Oh, my peeler is not wanting to peel this lemon very well. All right, we're just gonna do this with a knife. Use a peeler, don't use a knife. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? But this lemon has been in my refrigerator for a couple of days and it doesn't want to peel very well. You don't need to garnish this. It looks quite fine on its own. You could totally garnish this with like a maraschino cherry would be beautiful, but I have this lemon that I need to use up. So we're gonna go ahead and just peel that off. Give it a quick express right over the top. We'll drop that right in. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The white lady, the gin cousin to the whiskey sour. The smell is amazing, all right? You smell the triple sec, you smell the gin, which gin is divisive, right? Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally love gin. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's just, you know, here's the thing. It's just sweet enough, right? The original recipe that I found calls for a full half ounce of simple syrup. I tried that, it was fine. I cut it back because it was too sweet for me. A quarter of an ounce, in my opinion, is all you need. And it's phenomenal. Using the Contro 2 really does elevate this a little bit over the slightly sweeter triple sex. This is a little drier. It's beautiful, it's foamy and it's frothy and it's got this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's rich, right? But it's not rich in like, rich heavy food it's rich as in like it's decadent and it's fun and it's bright and the lemon is there it's just present enough that it's mostly just there in the smell the triple sec absolutely takes over oh man that's so good that's so it's bold you know it's made with gin but it's not some gin cocktails right the gin can be so forward and so powerful that it's just overwhelming. And gin is one of those, if you like it, you like it. If you hate it, you probably will never like it. But I encourage you to give this a try because my goodness, is this an amazing cocktail. Ladies and gentlemen, the white lady, this is absolutely a beautiful cocktail. It tastes beautiful, it looks beautiful. If you served this to somebody, and they didn't, weren't just immediately amazed by how gorgeous it is, then something is wrong with them because that is a beautiful looking cocktail. And I have this beautiful glass, tall stem coupe. Mm. I don't even want to put it down. It's so good. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Get all that out of my mustache. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love doing cocktails like this that are classic and timeless and beautiful. These are my favorite things to make. Please don't be afraid to use egg, right? It, it's with gin, it's like a double divisive combo, but don't be afraid of it. Give it a shot, try it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Leave me a comment down below because I, love doing something like this and I want to do more of these all right I have several others coming up that are going to be really really fun I've got a couple requests in the inbox right now that I am getting while well, I'm waiting for ingredients to show up one because that's been a problem locally I can't source anything right now I don't know why I don't know what's going on it's summertime I guess anyway thank you guys so much please Give this one a try. Give any new cocktail a try because there's a huge world of cocktails out there. A bunch of them are super fun. A bunch of them super aren't. 
And that's okay. Experiment. See what you like. See what you don't like. Give something new a try. Thank you guys so much. Remember, don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Tip your bartenders. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Like this video if you liked it. Share it with somebody that you think could use a gorgeous cocktail like this white lady. Do all the YouTube things. Most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me keep growing. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. That's all I've got for you today. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That just uh, that just gets better and better and better.